so today I'm going to switch the topic up a little bit and uh, I'm going to talk about how to get a job. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about how to get a job in 2021, uh, how to learn, land your first job, uh, and pretty much how to get a job during this whole pandemic uh, that we're going on. So just a little background, uh, you know, my regular position, I'm a corporate recruiter. Uh, so as in case of, you know, landing a job and things like that, um, it's something that I'm very knowledgeable about being on the other side um, and, you know, being in a job seeker from time to time throughout my career. Um, and so I'm going to touch a little bit on that from a professional aspect uh, to show you a little bit about, you know, just some things that you can do to simplify your uh, job search approach and then things that you can do to lock down the job um, a little bit simple. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to tackle um, is you know, staffing companies. Uh, there's a little bit of a myth about staffing companies, like most staffing companies are only temporary jobs and, you know, they typically don't keep you for very long um, and different things like that. However, staffing companies have full-time permanent positions as well as uh, regular jobs. Pretty much their functions are companies pay them to do their hiring because you know the company might not have a direct manager over their hiring process or they need something quick from a specialized company so that can uh, very well be you know a full-time employee so a lot of times when a staffing company calls you you know don't automatically get in the mode of this is only going to be a contract position um, another thing is a lot of contract positions are contract to hire so based on your performance and how you do you know can lend you a a position. Um, another thing I want to talk about is using job boards. Um, so, you know, these are the job boards that are available to you. Uh, you've heard of ZipRecruiter, you've heard, heard of Career Builder, you've heard of Indeed, um, and presently LinkedIn. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm speaking on behalf of someone who's had a job, has a little bit of experience on their resume, um, and is getting and is going into looking for a job, maybe you've been laid off, or you've been you know, let go of your job or anything around that particular setting. Uh, so what you would do in that place is, you know, post your resume on every single job board. Um, if you're someone who necessarily has no experience, you're a brand new college student, uh, or you just graduated from college, or you have little to no experience, still go ahead and post your resume on every job board. This is the internet. All you're going to do is increase your chances of being looked at uh, by somebody with a job. So the most prevalent ones to make sure you have your resume. Uh, make sure LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn number is the number one job site right now for people to find jobs. It's, it works just like a Facebook uh, or MySpace, any social media platform that you've ever had because uh, it's pretty much a social media geared platform toward jobs. Uh, so what you would do, you would set up your LinkedIn social as your resume. Uh, you put just in the same format as your resume, upload your resume, uh, make sure, you know, they have logos from companies on LinkedIn. So make sure you're getting the exact company, the date and time that you work and things like that. Um, you know, and then go on to Indeed, push, push your resume on Indeed, uh, just because, you know, it matters when people are looking through resumes what's the last date that was updated. So post your resume on Indeed and make sure you update it daily. That means just logging into the pl platform, clicking on it, and then just going back out. That's only for Indeed, and that'll keep your resume to the top of the page. Uh, the next thing is, you know, Career Builder, uh, Monster, uh, Zip Recruiter, you use the same approach. Uh, so this is, if you don't have a pinpoint company that you wanna go to and you kinda want the companies to come to you, but let's be honest, still keep applying for the jobs and the companies that you want to go to. Uh, number two, to shorten your, your length of time and effort and things like that, uh, you know, different w websites like Indeed and LinkedIn, they have features with uh, a quick apply feature. Uh, not saying go ahead and apply to every single job just because it's a quick, quick apply feature, but simplify it. Go in the search column and search, just like you're using a Google search engine, um, search the job that you're, you know, wanting, and go to the quick apply feature. You'll see all the companies with shortened resumes. Now, it's important to do these particular companies because from my experience as a recruiter, 
the shortening of the resume process, meaning the more the company is looking to hire you. Um, they're looking to move quickly. You're not going to have a long application process, um, you know, if you want to find talent quickly. You're going to shorten that and make it shorten to the point to make it candidate friendly uh, so you can encourage that. Uh, so go ahead and hit the quick apply feature. Hit filters um, so you can hit remote positions if you're looking for somebody that, you know, a position that's remote. Make sure you key in the right thing. Find exactly what you're looking for that fits your situation. There's so many different ways you can find a job uh, these days. Like I said, with the whole remote situation, um, if you're someone that, you know, you need to be remote, go ahead and look for exactly that. Um, make sure when you go on LinkedIn, you open up. You go into your settings, there's a portion on LinkedIn that says open to recruiters or open to everyone. If you're someone at a current company looking for another job um, and you don't want to necessarily open it to your whole other team on LinkedIn, you can just open it just to recruiters. That way, it's not really going to show as a profile to your uh, current company, but it's going to show to the actual recruiters uh, that you're hiring for or that are hiring for you. So after doing so, you're going to start realizing a, a recruiters are going to start calling you for job opportunities based on your resume or lack thereof. If you're a college student, you're going to start getting opportunities and they're going to be actual opportunities. One of the things I like about LinkedIn um, as opposed to, you know, the other job boards that are out there is there are real people behind them. So about 99% of the job opportunities that you're going to get on LinkedIn are going to be very, very real. They're going to be job opportunities that are, you know, that you can use that are geared towards your resume because there's a human behind there looking at your LinkedIn profile and his graphics is right in front of them. So it's hard for you to send like a bot um, or something like that or a total position that you're not interested in. Some recruiters may still do that, just a shout out of the dark about getting you into an industry, um, but it's not going to be the total, you know, things that you would get in jobs before where it's just like either, uh, you know, specifically for me as a marketing uh, grad, it used to be the entry level positions were only quote unquote uh, jobs that I had to go work inside of a department store to sell like cell phone products and things like that. Um, so make sure you update that. Um, always update, uh, always update your resume um, on whatever platform to keep it current from a daily basis. The number one tip to quickly get it in front of employers, when you're on LinkedIn, go ahead and search the employer name. Or a lot of times when you click on a job, you will scroll down, read the entire job description. You're going to go ahead and see the recruiter or the hiring manager that's listed on the job. They make it really easy for you. Click on their name and send a simple message like, hey, good afternoon or good morning. My name is, you know, dot, dot. I'm currently in the job market. Say the job title. This is the position uh, that, you know, came across my mind and I thought I would be a good fit for the position. Are you guys still hiring for the role? Right then and there, you're going to get an answer. If they're still hiring from, for the role, you're going to get an answer saying, hey, we're still hiring for the position. If they're not, you're going to get an answer. That's one job you can either cross off your list that you might have an interview or a job that is not going to be uh, you know, for you or maybe has found somebody to fill that particular position. But those are some quick tips to use when you're job searching and I guarantee they will help you. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, just ping me on the comments and I'll go ahead and answer them. Uh, and then I'll continuously make videos. Uh, let me know, you know, kind of what videos um, you want, what you would like to see, and then I'll go from there. But I'll continuously make videos to kind of make sure that I'm able to bridge that gap between candidate and job and how you can land your job or, you know, some videos about some strategic things you can do when you're actually interviewing um, and things like that. So stay tuned and uh, I'll make sure I try to create a little bit more uh, job content within the channel, although, you know, mostly we talk about fashion stuff. But I appreciate you watching as always, and uh, until next time.